Welcome back to the Knowledge Academy's YouTube channel. We are here with another exciting video in the journey of learning SQL. Today, we will discuss how you can install my SQL on Windows, Mac OS, and Ubuntu, all three one by one. So let's get started with installing my SQL in Windows. First, let's navigate to the MySQL website to download the installer. Open your web browser and go to download link under mysql.com. Once you're on the MySQL download section, scroll down and click on MySQL Community Download. Now, you will be redirected to a new page. Click on the Download button for the MySQL installer for Windows. Now again, you will be redirected to a new page where the version and operating system will be set automatically. Now below that you can see options for download. In this go with the MySQL installer community whose file size is 285.3 MB. Click on the download button. A new page will open here just proceed with. No thanks, just start my download option. Click on it and wait for it to get downloaded. Once it is downloaded, click on the file. Then your operating system will ask you if you want to run the selected application or not. Here, click Run, then wait till the window configures the software. Then the MySQL installer will open. Here you can see the option of choosing the setup type. Select the Customs options here and press Next. Now coming to the Select Product section, first click on My CQL Servers, then click on My SQL Server 8.0, then a list of options will come where we have to select the one in the top. Then click on the green arrow, which is pointing towards Products to be installed tab. Now click on the Applications, then click on my SQL Workbench 8.0, then click on the one present on the top of the list. Then again click on the same arrow, pointing towards Product to be installed tab. Now in the same Applications section, Click the MySQL Shell 8.0, then select the first option visible in the list. Click on it and again use the same arrow. Now when all the three products are visible on the Products to be installed tab, you can now proceed and click on Next. Now in the Download section click Execute, all the three products will get downloaded, which will take few minutes. Once it's completed, click on Finish. Now the Installation section will appear, where all the three products will get installed, this will hardly take few minutes. Once installed, again click on Next. Now in the Product Configuration section, the MySQL server will show Ready to Configure, just click on Next and proceed forward. Then you will be in Type and Networking section. Here everything will be set beforehand, like shown in the screen. Just click Next and proceed. Then the Authentication method section will appear. Here go with the Use Strong Password Encryption for Authentication option and click Next and proceed. Now in the Accounts and Roles section, set a password for your SQL account. Rewrite the password in the Repeat Password section. Do not forget this password as without it, you will not be able to log into your account. After entering password, click on the Next button and proceed. Then in the Windows Services section, go with Standard System Account and click Next. In the next section of Server File Permissions, go with the first option as shown on the screen and click Next to proceed. Now in the last Apply Configuration section, click Execute. Let all configuration complete by themselves. Once completed, click Finish and proceed. Again, you will be redirected to Product Configuration section, where it will now be showing Configuration Complete in the Status area. Click Next. Now Installation Complete section, we will click on Finish. Just few more steps to create the database and we will be good to go. Now open Command Prompt and first type My ESQL hyphen hyphen version, which will show you the version of your My SQL then type MySQL hyphen U root hyphen P, then provide the password which you set during installing MySQL. Type show databases and put semicolon. It will show display something like this as it is shown on screen. Now we will create a database for ourselves. Write create database and give a name to database and put semicolon after it. Now a database is created for your MySQL. We can just check the working of it. We will now open the MySQL Workbench and click on localhost and provide the password which we had set before. 
This type of interface, which is visible in your screen, will be available where you will be working in future. Congratulations, you have now successfully installed my SQL in your Windows operating system. Now let's see how you can install my SQL in Mac OS. Just like we did for Windows operating system, in the same way we will head over to the official My SQL website to download the installer. Open your web browser and navigate to download section in mysql.com. Once you're on the website, click on the My SQL Community Downloads. Next, you will be redirected to a new page. Click on My SQL Community Server section. On the next page, select the download option according to the chip present in your system. For M1 and M2 chip, go with the Mac OS. ARM 64-bit, DMG archive having file size of 567.1 MB. Click on download as shown in your screen. But if you have Intel chip in your Mac OS system, proceed with x86 64-bit, DMG archive, with file size of 572.3 MB, click on download as visible in your screen. Now in the next page, click on the no thanks, just start the download option. Once the download is complete, click on the file. It will ask you if the system should run the program or not. Click Allow tab. Now my SQL Community Installer will appear on your screen. Here, click on Continue in the Introduction section. Again, click on Continue in the License section. After this, a pop-up will appear, asking if you agree on installing the software or not. Here, click Agree. Now in the Installation Type section, click on Install tab. Then a tab will appear like this to ask you to enter the password. After entering the credentials, click on Install Software. Now you will be redirected to Installation section, where it will load files. Then you will be directed to Configuration section. Here you go with the first option, that is use Strong Password Encryption, and click Next. Now enter the password and remember it, as you will be needing it every time you open the SQL Workbench. Now a pop-up will come, where again you have to put your credentials, that is password, and press OK. Now click Close in the Summary section, and you have successfully installed the MySQL server. After closing it, it will ask whether you want to move MySQL installer to the bin, click on the Move to Bin button. Our job is half done here. Now we have to download the workbench as well, so now we will again go to MySQL site. Go to Download section and click on the MySQL Community Downloads. Then in the next page, click on MySQL Workbench. You will be redirected to a new page. Here in the Select OS version, select the version according to the chip present in your system. If you have M1 or M2, chip go with Mac OS, ARM64, bit. But if you have Intel chip, select Mac OS, x86, 64, bit. Once you select the version, go to the download button and start the download. Once the download is complete, open the file. Once it's open, drag the logo of my SQL to the application side as shown on screen. Copying will start wait for it to get completed. Then your system will verify once it's complete. It will ask you if you want to open the file or not here. Go with the open option. Your workbench is now open. Go to the local instance, click on it. It will ask for password. For now, just cancel it. Go to the local instance again. Left click and go to the edit connection. A new box will open. Click on the test connection it will ask for password, put your credentials, and click OK. A connection warning pop-up will appear. Click on Continue anyway, then click OK in the last box that appears on your screen like this. Congratulations, you have now successfully installed my SQL on your Mac OS. Now let's move on to see how to install my SQL in Ubuntu. First, let's open up the terminal. You can do this by pressing Ctrl plus, Alt plus, T on your keyboard, or by searching for Terminal in the Applications menu. Once the terminal is open, let's begin by updating the package index to ensure we have the latest versions of the software. Type the command visible on your screen and press Enter. It will ask for the password, provide the credentials. Now next, let's install the MySQL server by typing the following command and pressing Enter. Type the command visible to your screen and press Enter and wait for it to get downloaded. Now after downloading, let's check MySQL system services. Once that is done, clear everything and type this command to start my SQL shell. Provide the password. Now you can see the MySQL shell has been installed in the system. Now to set password for this, let's write some command. Write down the command written on the screen, the place where password is written between inverted commas 
just replace that with desired password. Now put this command in terminal, where my ESQL is open. Give this command and press enter. Now password is set. Exit the terminal. Now for my SQL, secure installation, put the command given on the screen, press enter and provide the password. Once this is done, there will be a series of questions that will appear in the terminal. First, it will ask if you would like to set up validate password component. Here for yes, put Y. And for no, press any key. Again, it will ask a new question that if you would like to change password for root, go with N or no. Now it will ask you if you want to remove anonymous user, press N and proceed forward. Now it will ask whether to disallow root login remotely, again go with no or N. Now it will ask you if you want to test database and access to it, again press N and proceed. Now at last it will ask whether to reload privilege tables now, press we. Now your My ESQL shell is installed. Now we will install Workbench. Let's open Google Chrome and write Snap MySQL Workbench Community and go with the first link as visible on your screen. A interface like this will appear on your screen. Click on the Install tab, now copy the command and paste it in the terminal and wait for a few seconds to get installed. Now let's check if it is successfully installed or not. Let's search My ESQL on Search tab. Open it, click on Local Instance, fill in the password and click OK. And there you have it. My SQL is now successfully installed in your Ubuntu operating system. We have now successfully discussed on how to install my SQL in different operating system. Now since we have the weapons, we are all set to learn SQL with hands-on experience. This is all for this video. In next video, we will learn to create databases in SQL Workbench. So be ready with SQL Workbench on your system and take the next step in the journey of learning super exciting skill of SQL. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting and informative content. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.